The Yamaha YAS26 has long been considered the go-to student saxophone, one of the best choices available. I have been recommending this saxophone to people for years, but as the price started to get a bit too high, I did start telling people to look for them used. In this video, I'm going to do a straight up comparison between the Yamaha YAS26 and the Better Sax EAS112, sticking just two verifiable facts. You may be surprised to find out how they stack up to one another on paper. Disclaimer, I do earn money if you purchase the saxophone phone with the name of my company on it, Better Sax, obviously. So it's not that easy for me to make a video like this and come across as fair, but I'm going to do my best. If I leave anything out, please let me know in the comments. First thing to get out of the way is the price. Now prices do vary, and by the time you watch this, they may have already changed. But as of today on Sweetwater.com, the Better Sax Alto Saxophone sells for $899, while the Yamaha YAS26 sells for $2,428. That makes the Yamaha 2.7 times more expensive. So naturally you would ask, what does the Yamaha have that the Better Sax doesn't to justify costing almost three times the price? Let's find out. Let's start with what they have in common. If you purchase either one of these saxophones on Sweetwater, it comes with a 40 point inspection, two year warranty and free shipping. All of that is awesome, of course. Both instruments have post to body construction. This means that each individual post is soldered onto the body separately rather than in ribbed construction, which is where several posts are part of a rib, which gets soldered onto the body all at once. Post to body construction saxophones like these two are lighter since they have considerably less metal on them. And that's where the on paper similarities end. Let's look at their differences. The Yamaha YAS26 comes with plastic domed resonators while the Better Sax has metal resonators. Personally, I don't have a strong preference either way for plastic resonators or metal ones. My professional Yanagisawa saxophones come with plastic resonators standard. However, most saxophone players will tell you they prefer metal resonators. As far as the pads go, the Yamaha comes with standard Yamaha leather pads, while the Better Sax comes with the standard Paisoni leather pads. The Yamaha comes with stainless steel springs, while the Better Sax comes with blued steel springs. Both stainless steel and blued steel springs are going to get the job done. However, blued steel is what you're going to find on all pro model saxophones being made today, including pro level Yamahas. The Better Sax EAS112 is keyed up to high F sharp, while while the Yamaha YAS26 only goes up to high F. Now, personally, I don't use the high F sharp key very much anymore, but when I was studying classical saxophone, I did have to use the high F sharp key all the time. And I know that this key is a requirement for many saxophone teachers when evaluating potential student instruments. Has a high F sharp key, does not. And most saxophone players will tell you that they prefer a saxophone with a high F sharp key than without. The Yamaha has nickel plated keys and a gold lacquered body and neck. I honestly don't know why Yamaha does this. They make this same exact saxophone for the international market using a different model number. It's way cheaper, as you can see. And that one comes with all gold lacquer keys. I think it looks better. For me, nickel plating kind of suggests a student instrument since it's commonly used for student clarinet keys as well as student flutes. The Better Sax has a darker cognac lacquer as well as an underslung octave key. This part of the design was done specifically to give this saxophone a look that didn't suggest it was only made for middle school band students. This part is also entirely cosmetic. The Yamaha does not come with any engraving while the Better Sax does have a basic classic engraving pattern on the bell and bow. The Yamaha has this one piece key guard that protects all of the bell keys. The Better Sax key guards are in a more traditional configuration as you would see on most professional saxophones out there. Obviously the look of any given instrument is highly subjective so I'll leave it up to you to decide which one looks better. Let us know in the comments your preference. The Yamaha has a plastic thumb rest while the Better Sax has a metal one. The Yamaha neck cork comes all the way up to the end while the Better Sax neck has this soldered on tone ring here. This is another feature found on all professional Yamaha saxophones, but not on their student model. The Yamaha YAS26 comes with this basic latched case with a handle. The Better Sax comes with this zipped soft shell case, which has a spacious exterior pocket, backpack straps, a shoulder strap, as well as an extra what we call subway handle, which is really convenient for traveling. With the Yamaha, you get a Yamaha 4C mouthpiece, which is a very good basic student design, great for beginners. The Better Sax also comes with an excellent student 
level mouthpiece, great for beginners. Both saxophones come with a ligature, mouthpiece cap, a reed, cork grease, polishing cloth, and a neck strap. The Yamaha is made in Indonesia, while the Better Sax is made in China. There are a lot of opinions out there on where things get built and how that can affect quality. What I have learned though is the quality of any finished product really comes down to how well the quality control standards are maintained and how high those standards are. Both of these instruments are available from Sweetwater.com, which is my favorite place to go shopping for music gear. I put links in the description so you can check out more information and reviews on both of these instruments. Now for the play test, I'm not gonna give you any personal opinions on this since each individual is gonna have their own preferences to sound, ergonomics, and response of any given saxophone, but I will say they both play fantastic and have great response and intonation across the full range. As you're listening, please let me know in the comments which one of these saxophones you think is a better value, which one you would buy and why. Now let me try to be fair. Yamaha makes fantastic instruments and I've always told people you can't go wrong with any Yamaha, including their student line of instruments. In fact, during the design process of the Better Sax, we had the Yamaha student saxophone in mind as the gold standard. We set out to create a saxophone that could match its quality, but with a much lower price tag and more pleasing aesthetic. While I made this video to help you understand how these two saxophones compare, it's really important for me to examine the competition carefully. The biggest criticism I have of the Yamaha is the case it comes with at that price, they really should be offering something with shoulder straps and an exterior pocket at least. Now you can't go wrong with either one of these saxophones, but the better sax is gonna leave you with an extra 1500 bucks in your pocket. Now, whenever you're shopping for a saxophone, one of the most important things to consider is how well it's set up. So you're gonna to wanna to watch this video next to learn about the process these saxophones go through at the Con Summer factory, and then the 40 point inspection they get at Sweetwater before they go on sale. 